Let me introduce you to Scratch, a very interesting software for creating games and animations. It is also useful for learning the basics of computer. Students, how do you express your feelings to your family and friends? Through language, isn't it? A language is a medium to talk or write. You may speak different languages like Hindi, English or any other regional language. But to talk to any person you need a common language which both of you can speak and understand. In the same way if you want to give instructions to a computer you need to learn the language that a computer understands. A computer does not understand a language that we speak. It understands only a few special languages of its own. These are known as programming languages. A programming language has a set of instructions using which you can make the computer do an activity that you plan. Let's learn about Scratch, a simple language. Scratch is one of the easiest computer languages. Children can use Scratch to create their own games, animated stories and projects with great ease. Ok students, let's learn it with an example. Any task that we perform includes many steps. It should be completed step by step in a particular sequence. Suppose a teacher asks Kabi to bring notebooks of his class from the computer lab. Since he is new in the school, so she guides him the way to reach to the computer lab. She gives instructions to Kabir in the following manner. Move left from the class and go straight. After crossing five classes, take a left turn. Then move forward and after crossing six classes, take a right turn. After leaving three classes, you will reach to the computer lab. Likewise, a computer also follows stepwise instructions to complete any task. These stepwise instructions are known as a program. Students, let's know the fact. Scratch can easily run on different operating systems including Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Let's learn quickly, starting Scratch. To start Scratch, follow the steps given below. Click on the Start button. Choose the All Apps. Click on the Scratch 2. Scratch window opens. Alright, let's know an interesting fact. Scratch is developed by the lifelong kindergarten group at the MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Media Lab, led by Mitzel Resnick in 2003. Let's learn about main components of Scratch. Sprite Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a Scratch project. Scratch provides a number of inbuilt sprites. Cat is the default sprite in Scratch. Stage It is the main working area where the sprite moves and performs actions as per the given instructions. Here you can watch stories, play games and run Scratch projects that you have created. Blocks Palette Blocks Palette contains the set of blocks which are used to program the sprite and give actions to it. Each block performs specific tasks in a project. It is used to create scripts in Scratch. The blocks connect with each other just like a jigsaw puzzle. Let's know an interesting fact. The official website of Scratch is www.scratch.mit.edu Script Script is a collection of stepwise instructions that are given to a sprite to do a specific task. A script consists of at least two blocks. Scripts area The scripts area is the place where you create a script for a sprite to do a particular task. The script is created by dragging the instructions from the blocks palette and dropping them stepwise on top of each other. A script is also called a program. Let us learn how to drag and drop the blocks on the script area. Students, let us know the fact. Scratch is used in more than 150 countries and available in 40 different languages. Let's quickly learn about moving a sprite. All the instructions related to the movement of sprite are given under the motion block menu. 
Let us create a scratch project to move the sprite in circular motion. Open the scratch window. By default, the motion block palette is displayed on the left side of the scratch window. Click on the move 10 steps block and drag it to the script area. Change the step number from 10 to 20 by typing in the number box. Click on the block. You will notice that the sprite moves the specified number of steps. Click on the turn 15 degrees block. Now drag and drop it on the script area. Place it below the move 20 steps block. Keep clicking on any block in the script area. Observe that the sprite is moving 20 steps forward and turning 15 degrees in a circular motion on the stage. Know about motion blocks. Let us understand the use of motion blocks which we have used in the project. Move 20 steps. This block moves the sprite 20 steps in forward direction. To move the sprite in backward direction, type the number with the preceding minus sign. For example, minus 20. Turn 15 degrees. This block is used to turn the sprite in clockwise direction. To turn the sprite in anti-clockwise direction, use turn 15 degrees block. Let's learn the most interesting topic, drawing a colorful circle. The blocks in the pen block menu allow the sprite to draw lines on the stage. Change the color and thickness of lines. Let us add some more blocks to the previous scratch project. Observe the movement of the sprite on the stage. Click on the pen block menu. Select the pen down block from the pen block palette. Drag out the block and place it underneath the turn 15 degrees block. Now click and pull the set pen size to one block onto the sprite area. Place it below the pen down block. Change the value 1 to 10. Drag out the change pen color by 10 blocks from the pen block palette and drop it at the end. Change the value from 10 to 20. Keep clicking on any of the blocks in the sprite area till the sprite completes its colorful circle. Let's learn about know about pen block. Let us understand the use of pen blocks which we have used in the project. Pen down. This block draws a line as the sprite moves on the stage. Set pen size to 1. This block is used to set the thickness of the pen to a specific number. You can change the thickness of the pen by typing in the number box. Change pen color by 10. To change the color of the pen, use change pen color by 10 block. Let's quickly learn about making a duplicate copy of sprite. To create a duplicate copy of the sprite, the stamp block is used. Drag out the blocks from the motion and pen blocks palette. As shown in the figure, snap the blocks together onto the sprite area. Change the values of the blocks. As shown in the figure, click on any of the blocks to create the duplicate copy of the sprite. Notice as the sprite reaches to the edge of the stage, it will bounce back and change its direction. If on edge bounce. The if on edge bounce block is in the motion block menu. It is used to turn the sprite in the opposite direction as it reaches to the edge of the stage. Let's quickly learn saving a scratch project. Once you finish the project, always save it before closing the scratch window. To save the project, follow the given steps. Click on the file menu in the menu bar. Select the Save option from the drop-down list. The Save Project dialog box appears. Choose the desired location where you want to save your scratch project. Assign the name to your project in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. Your scratch project will be saved. You can open it whenever required. 
Students know that Scratch 2.0 projects are saved with the extension .sp2. Alright students, let's quickly learn opening a saved project. To open a saved project, follow the given steps. Click on the file tab. Choose the open option from the drop down list. The open project dialog box appears. Select the project you want to open. Click on the open button. The selected project opens in the scratch window. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A computer understands only a few special languages of its own. These are known as programming languages. Scratch is one of the easiest computer languages. Children can use Scratch to create their own games, animated stories and projects with great ease. Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a Scratch project. Script is a collection of stepwise instructions.